Instagram. It's me, T, for the Patterson's Taking Trains to Bed. I'm, oh, you're probably wondering, what's that hat that boy got on the shed right there like that? This is, let me say, see it says EFF and it's got a, what the hell, we got it. We got Africa, even got Mozambique there. And uh, it got us a, a, a black fist. Of course, it's, 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 it's like a gold, uh, black, green, and red. Well, a little white there, too. Anyway, gold, yellow, whatever you want to say. Africa, you know, the fist, holding the spear, tip of the spear kind of thing like that. And it says EFF on there. Let me tell you something. This is an original EFF cap. See, this is a, this is this is real. I mean, this is like real wool and stuff like that. Well, brother, what how what are you doing with an original EFF? Didn't they didn't when did what like ten years ago? When did they when did they start existing? A long time ago, right? Well, I've been in Africa for a long time, and when EFF first popped up, I said, "Oh, this is going to be interesting," and so I bought a cap. So I'm I'm a bit. I've been in South Africa for a long time, right? Well, a long time, since 2003, whenever it was. The point is, this is the original cap. I don't wear it. I just got it. I, I got it because I knew it was going to be valuable someday. And guess, <laughs> let me tell you how long I've been in South Africa as far as politics. In fact, when I first came, the only two names you heard in politics was, because um, I was in, in Cape Town, was uh, Zuma. Well, I mean, of course, Madiba was still hanging around, you know, the regular people, the, the, the two biggest names you heard was that Helen Zilla woman, because I was in, in Cape Town, and Zuma. You always hear those names. And, you know, when you hear a name, it becomes popular. And so people, when they do stuff, they do stuff out of a popular head. They don't really do, they don't be researching what's going on. But here was was first fascinating to me when I first got to South Africa and I uh, and paying attention to politics. See, they don't have this now, but before there used to be, they call floor crossing. So you'd be in one party, right? But then, when 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 they resumed the government after after the, after the voting after the election, they resumed the voting, and then you could cross over, <laughs> you could cross over the aisle to another party, even though the other party put you up. And you, uh, uh, look, it got so ridiculous that they finally like got rid of that and said, no, that that don't make no sense. You know, the people voted for you, well, the, the party voted for you to put you in the thing to do the bidding of the party, and then. Then all of a sudden you say, now I don't want to hang out with them. I'm gonna be with somebody else. And so you you cross the floor, across the aisle, across whatever the whatever you're crossing, what you're crossing, <laughs> like that. So anyway, so just recently, I just usually I wouldn't even talk about this stuff because I'm not really into politics, politics like that. And so uh, uh, the, the the founders of well, there's a group of founders of the EFF, but the, the two of the big guys was uh, the the. Julius Guy, you know, they used to call him Juju, uh, Juju Malema, and then Floyd, uh, Sivabu, the boo guy, you know, Floyd and Julius, right? Those are like two at the hips, you know, enjoy the hips. They, they, they used to hang out with, 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 uh, with the, the uh, what do you call it, the ANC Youth League, and then they got kicked out of us. Somehow the, the, the relationship dissolved, right? Okay. So they formed the EFF, and then they, you know, started doing it. They, they were very unique in the beginning. I, I said, oh, this is kind of interesting, especially when they first came on the scene, because they were all wearing the red, like, workers' uniform and stuff like that. And I said, oh, this is fascinating, right? Uh, because, oh, let me go to workers' uniform just a second. The reason why I was fascinated, because a lot of times, especially with Africa, you know, you have your African so-called, well, traditional dress, or you have people coming out of the bush, you know, they wear the whatever military uniforms. But they get into politics, and they start... They start dressing, you know, like the colonizer. You know, they got the suit and tie. They got the, the Seville robe or whatever with, with the London or, or the or the or the or the Hong Kong suit made. You know, or the, the, the material from Milan, Manila. You know, from not Manila, but, uh, you know, from, from 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 Italy. You know, whatever. You know, they get expensive stuff like that. They start dressing. They go, they, they go to the UN. You know, in fact, can I tell you something? When I uh, the, the great. Uh, 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 uh. Well, I'm from New York, right? And I, my, I got my political awareness way before anything, right? When I was like 14 or something like that, right? And one of the places I've been with, uh, well, I, I is the WBAI radio, right? And uh, this guy named Samori Martin. Samori told me one one time, right? He's, if you know him, you know him. You don't know him. He's he's named after Samori Michelle. In the, well, don't matter. Don't do it. Um, so he, 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 well, he changed his name. Anyway, 
Well, he told me one time, he said, you know what they used to do with these African leaders in the 50s and, and the 60s when they first got their thing and they would come to New York, to the UN? They would pur purposely take them over this flight plan that you go over Manhattan. Now, if you ever fly over Manhattan, it's amazing because they have the big buildings and you look down, you see people look like ants and stuff like that. But it's very impressive, you know, because these guys would come from little, well, yeah, I say it, like huts, small, but nothing over two stories, you know what I mean? But but the huts, literally living in huts, and you become revolutionary leader, then you become a thing, you used to dress up, and then they take you to the UN, you come to the big city, to to to, to, you know, to wherever, and you, you'll see it, and you know, it's to impress them. I guess to show off the magnificence of the of the um, of the colonizer, you know, whatever, whatever. I don't know what, 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 it's psychological, right? So anyway, back to the point. I'm sorry I made that point. A, a, a piece of blessing on some warriors. Uh, eternal soul, but he taught me a lot. Well, just being around some more, you, you, you learn a lot. It's good. Uh, so, so you got these cats, you know, and the only one to break that mold a little bit was uh, Madiba, you know, uh, uh, Nelson Mandela, when he became president, he would wear those shirts. Well, wasn't those shirts like Versace shirts? The point is, they wouldn't be wearing their traditional, you know, their, 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 their traditional outfits, you know. They, they would take the outfit of the of the colonizer, you know, and it's, it's, it's suits and the shoes and all, you know, the whole thing, you know, the hats and right there. Uh, some, some, no, no, they would, they wouldn't even keep their, their military regalia. Un unlike, unlike uh, Burkina Faso right now, I respect those guys because they still think, look, we're in a state of war. This ain't, this ain't over with. It, when you put on a suit, you're basically capitulating to the, to the colonizer, say like, hey, you all are one, I'm on your side now. That's what that's what it says to me. Uniform. That's what it says to me. You know. In fact, talk about someone. I was at BAI. Somebody if, at community radio. Sometimes you know you have call, people calling. Sometimes people just call and just say something. Just leave. They just say something. They they hang up the phone. One time it happened to me. And the guy says, "You know what it is, Anthony? It's uniforms." And he hung up. And it's just stuck with me. Uniform, uniform, uniform. Everything is a uniform. So when you a businessman, you dress a certain way. When you're a revolutionary, certain way. When you're an athlete. It's, but the point is, when uh, EFF came to power and they had the, the workers' uh, overalls on, I said, oh, that's, 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 that's interesting, you know? Because they're going to identify with the, uh, here we go, because they do this Marxist thing, but economic freedom fighters. You ask about the economics, they, they start wa wa they start waxing and waning about, about Marxism, you know? I'm not going to get into that right now. I, won't go, I said right now, when I hear all these people talk about Marx and stuff like that, for me, Marx was a journalist. Oh, what? Uh, he's a big philosopher, uh, economic. No, he's a journalist. That, 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 that's all he is to me, right? And he knew nothing about Africa. When I say nothing about Africa, I was a little bit. But it had nothing to do with Africa. Africa don't deal with no Marxism, and all this socialism, and the this and that, and all that capitalism, and the, and the, and the, and the communism, and, the, and the, whatever. Don't apply to Africa, okay? What Africa is. <laughs> We're, we're collectives, you know, we, we don't do that. Those, those those are Western concepts, you know. You should just leave them alone, but let me leave them. I know, let me go back to the point. So, so Madiba's got the Versace shirts, like this is designer shirts, right? Doesn't wear the tie. That's a, that's a compromise. But all the rest of these people, you know, they got the, they got the Sherlock Holmes pipes and they, and they you know, and they, and, they, and they get their big palatial houses and they, and they gated communities, you know, don't live in a hut no more, you know. <laughs> No, I said a village, you know. I'm, in fact, I'm going right now, right in a little while, I gotta go, go to Gubeva, a village. I live in a village here, but right now I'm in a location. I mean, this is an old, in fact, this is an old RDP house, the original RDP house, where they made out of just concrete, like you're in a concrete, concrete cell. You know what I mean? So it, it's, it's like, it, this is before the, all I'm trying to say, they used to live like this, especially when they, when they were, uh, when they were freedom fighters, okay, freedom fighters. And then, then they then they said, Well, I can't live in no concrete cell, man. It's too cold in here like that. You too nah, I don't want no. Let me leave this. Oh how about the rest of the people that still live in concrete cells? Well, well yeah, I'm a, I'm a big time now. I, I wear suits, I, I wear ties, I, I wear you know, so they, that's the way they roll, right? I never agree with that. But that's not the point. Okay, so let me get to the point so we can we can leave it. So so uh Floyd and 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 and, 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 his, and his cousin or his, his brother attached to the hip. They had a little. They had a little. Well, Floyd is leaving the party. <laughs> he's crossing the aisle. Okay, they don't call it this way. He's he's leaving the EFF for the MK party. 
which is used to be their daddy. Meaning Zuma's party. See, you, Zuma used to be their daddy. So now they're going back to the daddy. I mean, it could all be a, 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 a ruse. They could have had this thing going on for like 20 years, had this plot, you know, over, you know, that I, I don't know. But that's not the point. The point is, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's funny to me. It's hilarious to me because positive, when it, look, when I was at the University of Fort Hare, you had you have the, 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 the student things, you know, like yeah, the, the student uh, ANC Youth League, yeah, the DA has a student thing, the EFF had a student thing, it was UDP, something like that. even the PAC had a little student thing. And I would ask the students, I'd say, well, what, what's your... Uh, what's your program? Whatever the hell it is. They would be in the yeah, blah, 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 blah. I asked the EFF. I said, well, EFF stands for Economic Freedom Fund. Okay. Uh, when you, if you get a can of soup, you know, and they say it's corn soup, then the first ingredient is corn, so you expect it to be corn in there. You know what I mean? So I asked the EFF, well, what's your it's just, it's just economic freedom? What's your economic program? And they did, they did go on to some a Marxist thing or something like that. And I laughed. And I said, why well, laugh? Yeah, I did. I laughed. That's what I said, oh, really? I said, well, what's the economic program? I don't want to know the history of, of, of the European and, with the, and, 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 and the lump of proletariat and all that. I said, no, I want, what's your economic program for currently what's happening right now in Southern Africa? I would say Southern Africa. South Africa to me is a stupid thing. It's Southern Africa. It's the whole region. But that's not the point right now. What's the economic program? That's what I want to know because they got you because what they did is they gave you the singing and the dancing. They took the they took the banking and they took and they, and, they, and they took the economics and they gave you the singing and dancing and the politics, and you all are just having a good time with your singing and dancing and the politics means that you have to dress up like that. But what's your economic program for the southern region for the southern the, 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 for your peoples, <laughs> our peoples, right? Nobody ever answered that question. Nobody ever answered what is your alternative economic program. That, that divorces you, that takes you away from the economics, that that, that keeps you in this soup. This is a, it's a valid question, ain't it? You know, you can never answer that question. All they want to do is take look. Policy is like a pie. The pie ain't but so ain't gonna grow, right? They want a, a, a people want a bigger piece of that pie, and that pie is the pie that they smack in your face with. <laughs> I'm sorry, politics is fun to me. It's fun and funny. I don't deal with, well, I do deal with politics, but sort of, politics is people thing. So I deal with it on a people level. I don't deal with politics on a, it's, you know, we're going to get the power, we got power, we don't have power. Y'all ain't got no, no but none of y'all got no power, right? The people got the power, you can't see the people got the power. That's all I'm saying. If I'm wrong, I just be wrong. But you see, everybody got an opinion, especially political people, yapping and yapping and yapping and yapping so much. They, 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 they have the glib tongues that turn you into a, a mush a mush brain. <laughs> they use that glib, glib tongue to talk to popular into mush brains. People stop thinking. Econ what is the economic program? You're the Democrat. What, what are you talking about Democrat? Uh, what, what is that democracy? What does democracy mean? Are you talking about democracy like, like the Vikings? They had a much better, or pirates. They have, they have a much better democracy than the democracies you, I see around the world today. What do you mean? The African, African, national, what are you saying? You're supposed to be African. What is the African? What is the Africanness in your national Congress? <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway, so, so the big news is that so the, the boys that were, that were Siamese twins or congenital twins were, are now separated. One is going to back to the daddy and the other one is uh, is uh, trying to figure out what economics is and maybe they'll get back together. Maybe they'll recross. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll say, they'll, they'll kiss and make up. Oh, brother, I, you know, I was wrong for those. Oh, I, the, 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 I, and, and daddy just treated me bad, so I'm back. You know, and I'm, well, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Well, I do know what's going on, but you know, and that's the point. Find out what's going on in your own backyard. I know what's going on in American politics. They're, they're, we're having a grand time up there. Yeah, you, you think you're all the idiots? Oh, Americans are bigger idiots. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you. I'm going to talk about North Americans, you know, black people. Talk to you all later. All right.